Hello, welcome back to my channel and I just found some really interesting question on the Bricks Builder Forum uh, It's about uh, how to set a background color based on the post category So I'm not sure with, with this question but I think um, <coughs> he asked um, whether we can have a specific uh, customization for each post with belong to some categories so um, it's like um, let's create a page first if I'm not wrong uh, what he mean is something like this um, let's create uh, list post uh, uh, let's edit with bricks um, let's create <coughs> a post query post query loop um, um, so let's set it on diff post yeah um, I'm gonna you I'm gonna like um, using a post title for each item Mm, yep, something like this <coughs> and let's I create a grid system so we can have a better look of the card <coughs> let's make a three column three one fr uh, something like this let's put some gap <coughs> all right so this I have like four posts and if you see here each post has um, uh, assigned to some categories so that uh, every post has uh, uncategorized and one post has news categorized as you can see here and uh, I think I should unsign it Ah uh, yeah, so the first the, the post with rating for title has a uh, news categories only. Mm, but let's take a look at the question first. Only with PHP snippet or is the easier way for non PHP user? Uh, well, uh, this method is using a PHP snippet, but don't worry, it's only uh, just a small bit of code. You can just copy paste it on your project. Um, let's see, let's see, yeah, just like you need to uh, install the snippet plugin or you can use the team function file on your team child. Um, <coughs> so the first is, um, let's disable this first, let's create a new snippet. And I'm using the WP the WP code snippet. Um, let's name it like get term name. Eh, term name. So the idea is uh, I need to tell you first that um, to have a specific uh, style customization or whatever you call it, we need to have something to differentiate um, to each item so this is my first, first post second post and third post and fourth post and let's say uh, I, this post with rating 4 is assigned to the news category I believe okay so the idea is just to make a class name here as the category 
slug or name so it means and the other is has a uh, assigned to uncategorize so yeah the idea is just like this so after we have um, the class name assigned to each post so we can just create or customize the card post the item list the item the the the, the post or whatever you call it by uh, just creating simple css like uh, let's say name mm, color oh no yeah oh yeah oh not name but news news yeah and then for the uncategorized uh, let's say the idea yeah i just i just uh, i just <coughs> i wanna tell you the idea first uncategorized uh, let's say you wanna have a uh, some color different color for the post with uncategorized <coughs> category so like blue so um, every post with assigned to uncategories will have the same color yeah the idea is just like this yeah yep like this so uh, he said that uh, apa namanya so uh, they are easier to distinguish for a visitor yeah you can use the, the, the idea is like this um so we need to add a class name to the this element to this element um dynamically using the php snippet so um, i just wrote some article not article but just like yeah it's like a simple um <coughs> snippet on my website yeah, you can check that on the man wp.com and here get the term name and use those to query item loop in bricks builder so what you need to do is just copy this function name a function fu function and then just paste it <coughs> into your uh, snippet plugin or your function file and then yeah just save it and this can work can be used to to other uh, taxonomy uh, for right now uh, you only need to change this taxonomy name or taxonomy slug to whatever your uh, taxonomy uh, because uh, i only want to show you um, <coughs> my post is uh, using the category so you, s you see on on the, on the url uh, i see the taxonomy equal category so uh, if you have a custom taxo taxonomy uh, yeah, you can use whatever you, whatever the taxonomy uh, name or slug uh, which you want to use but yeah this is category so i'm gonna leave it so i just the the the, the upper the <coughs> the function will retrieve the the category uh, on for each item in the loop so um, as usual you you only need to like um, <coughs> go to the style tab and look the four css classes so where is my page where is my query uh, here uh, so go to the um, element which which has the query loop enable and then go to the tab style and look for css css uh, tab or css menu and then mm, fill the field with this uh yeah so we need to like just use the function name and mm, yeah uh, here the css classes so you just say uh, <coughs> echo um, the function name and the close bracket so let's save it and let's see <coughs> all right now um, our each item has a category a name oh let's see oh yeah I'm using slug so uh, 
the category, the category slug uh, use uh, for the class name so here this news and categorize and categorize okay let's let's my post with 35 okay let's uh, change this um, oh I cannot add oh I cannot add okay let's eesh, how how okay just <laughs> just just uh, uh, let's edit this post and uh, let's uh, add a new category all right the new category where is that uh, it's so slow my machine is so slow I'm not, uh, I'm not sure why new category name let's say a politic mm, or sport uh, sport agile add new category and where is that okay and let's update it um, my post with rating 5 should have a sport um, class name let's see uh, oh, let's see ah, here my post with rating 5 has a sports um, class name because it is assigned to the sports category and if you, ha you already have this that mean uh, it easier you to to just to customize uh, the each item uh, which belong to uh, which category so you can like um, use a CSS editor uh, custom code and where is that CSS? Ah, custom CSS. So um, let's say you wanna make news. Yeah, this is the bit method, bit approach. Yeah, you need to like have a specific um, um you need to target the specific, really, really specific because um, like yeah, you only need like uh, because maybe you will have another element with has a new class name but uh, it's different style different css so you need to like uh, if i if i recommend it um, you need uh, you can like add some on list like loop uh, loop query class name loop query card or card uh, one class name um so the parent the parent will be card one card one news card one sports and let's say the color red um color blue um yeah let's save, save settings and um let's see yeah it's working now we can have like um apa namanya extinguish which one uh post belong to this category which one uh, belong to other category uh, you can play around with the CSS yeah. this will be easier because yeah you ha we will we, we, we have a specific class name for uh, each post like this so yeah it just it's simple you don't have to worry you don't have to afraid about this the snippet the PHP code because yeah I'm, I myself really don't understand the snippet itself I just like copy paste from the stack overflow uh, from the chat gpt and then yeah you if you are a wordpress developer you you don't need afraid about this thing uh later sooner or later you will have to um working with this uh, custom snippet custom code if you have a lot of, like a complex um website 
a bigger project yeah and yeah there are so many tools you can use googling stuff overflow like i said the chat chat gpt chat, chat gpt also yeah just try it don't 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 apa don't afraid to try it and yeah i think this video is uh, i will close the video um thank you so much for watching uh, you can write comment on the comment box below um yeah happy coding then thank you good night